Man, we made quick work of this, so I'm not gonna lie. This is probably the fastest I've ever recorded. There it is! We've got computers online! Computers being made automatically. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Satisfactory Playthrough episode. If you're new here, make sure to check out the entire playlist to this playthrough series in the description as well as in a card above this video and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Hit that like button if you do too and let's get into today's episode. So to start off progress update, we set up this top floor at our assembly super center and got the circuit boards automated. Today what we're gonna do is build on top of this. We're adding one more floor. Yes, just when you thought it couldn't get any taller. We're going one more floor up and we're gonna get computers online. So we're gonna be automating computers today and that's gonna take some big fat manufacturers not these two-part assemblers that's that's child's play we're going we're going after the big boys today and you can see from the <laughs> that quick power graph that popped up we're hitting really really close to our capacity here our consumption at times shoots up to what is this 1570 and our max consumption is 2100 Luckily, it's pretty smooth. We haven't gotten any crazy spikes, but look at our max consumption, 3380. So we're getting close to doubling our capacity with this max consumption, and that's not a good place to be. I've been saying it for several episodes now. We're gonna have to upgrade our power situation by adding some more fuel generators soon. Oh wow, look at this, look at this. Oh, ooh. Ooh, that was close. I also can't figure out why this line gets, whoa. The further I go to the right, the more my mouse loses track of the line. I wonder if that's like a resolution problem. So let's see what it was here. So the, the highest we got here was 1840. That's cutting it super close. So 1840, oh man, that's, that's not good, no bueno. We're gonna go ahead and continue with this episode without adding any new fuel generators and hope for the best, but definitely in the next episode, I promise. We're gonna go add some more fuel generators and that'll be easier then because we'll have the computers to do it because it does cost a lot of computers to add fuel generators. So let's get on with it. Hope you guys enjoy the episode and let's go. Of course, we're gonna start off by building up to the next floor. We're gonna do that with the typical four wall gap and build out the foundation. Cue music. All right, so we've got our new floor here. And let's really quickly remind ourselves what we're going to need. I know it's four different things. Oh no, more screws. So we know we have a screw shortage. Right now we don't because the frames ended up being the bottleneck for the heavy modular frames, which was where we were using most of our screws. But actually we might be okay, we might be okay. Our bottleneck might end up being the plastic because those are going into circuit boards as well. Um, yeah, so we're using four plastic for each circuit board. So we're using up a lot of plastic. Uh, when we go and add our new fuel generators, we might be able to also upgrade the oil output and then add some more refineries to increase our plastic production. But we'll worry about that in the next episode. We'll just use whatever plastic we have now. So these aren't going to be too bad. Circuits are right beneath us and we already have screws coming up to a couple floors below us as well as the plastic at the floor directly below us and uh, cables as well. So should be pretty easy peasy. We're going to set up, I think, three manufacturers for now. And what do we need? What do we need? We need plastic and motors. OK, I'm going to go grab some of those real quick. OK, we're back with all of the parts we need for the manufacturers. So let's go ahead and set these guys down. And this time I'm going to put it closer to the left edge. So last time it was super tight on the right edge. I want it to be a little more balanced. Got to get those alignment marks. All right. OK, so let's see what the recipe is. We're going to be producing 2.5 computers per minute. Not a lot. 
not a lot at all, but it's more than we have now. We're going to be producing six, 7.5 more computers than we are now with zero. We're going to do, it's going to be another super complicated, probably really ugly routing setup over here. I guess we can use this floor as an example, because this is the only floor where we have other manufacturers. So this is what we did here. We got this roller coaster looking thing for the left two inputs. And then we just did a regular two stack split for the right two inputs on all of these. This is definitely not the best way to do it. I can't imagine that it's the best way to do it, but we're going to figure something out. Maybe we'll try something different just so that we can contrast and compare on the top floor. So let, let's not even look at this. We're just going to do this from scratch and some creative inspiration right now. And I already have an idea. What if we do like varying height splitters? Let me, let me show you what I mean. What if we do something like this? So for the first splitter, it would be like that. And then that'll come through. So this would be the first level. And then for the splitter behind, it's just going to go up a level. So that's going to be, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I think we need a little more space, at least for the first one. Let's see. So what if we space it out a little more? Let's give it another gap like that. We're getting flown over. We're, oh, under, under. It's flying under us now because we're so high. So this would look something like this. The first set in front, the second set is going to go on a little lift thingy, which that might be too tight. We need to put it on this side. We put it there, come over like so. Okay, it's not encroaching. Then we would have a similar setup here. And then now the third level again just goes one back with a little space and same thing. Except now this is even neater here. We got more space. Huh? Huh? What do you guys think? Not too shabby, eh? I kind of like this. This last one's a bit tricky though. I can't tell if that's aligned because I'm not getting the alignment marks now. Well, these are all pretty much, yeah, these are all pretty much right on the edge of each other. So I think that's it. We need the one downstream here. There's the last one. What, what do you think about this? This is not bad. I kind of like it. The other thing we could have done is put all of these in line right next to each other. Yeah, no, put them all in line next to each other, but then like add a stack. So this would be like only one splitter. Then here you'd have two splitters stacked. So that one continues along the bottom. And then here you would have three splitters stacked. And those lines would come in from here and here and split down. If, uh, <laughs> if you can imagine what I'm saying, maybe I lost you there, but we might try that in another episode. I think here we're just going to go with this because we already did it and we're too lazy to do anything different now. I mean, I kind of like this more than, whoa, one of these is cockeyed. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it was this one. My bad. Let's try that again. Oh, which means that one's cockeyed too. There it is. That's better. We need our little pedestal thing here. Whoops, that wasn't facing the right way. There goes the ray. There goes the ray. Dun, da, da. There goes the ray. Yeah. Okay, now we're done. I think. Yeah, we are done now. And yeah, again, this looks much, much cleaner than what we did two floors down the first manufacturers, but I think it can still be improved for sure. The alternative way that I was explaining with just a stack of splitters all in the same line here, I like it because it would take up less floor space, but I feel like it'd be ugly with just so many towers of splitters. But then again, look at how many splitters we have here. So I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we're going to get started on pulling up the... Let's start with the screws over here, which actually... So here we have plastic that can just be pulled up. Let's maybe grab some plastic here by sticking a splitter, tapping into this line. Okay, cool. So we already have a nice little tap there. We can just pull out to the side. So there's our plastic and um, we'll just fly up. We're gonna bring this lift up and hopefully make it up there on the jetpack. Come on, oh yeah, sweet. So there's our plastic. That could go either into the first lane or the second lane. Let's go get our circuit boards. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Okay, this one makes sense to go into this first one. We got those coming in, and so now this can just feed into the second one there. 
cool cool so now we need the screws and the cable all right so here's our screw line which we can split off yeah so awesome okay and this one we can just stack this is gonna be pretty sweet here look at this look at this space saving this is the best design you've ever seen or what or what stack another one over here now i'm just randomly bringing belts and i have no idea what levels they should be at <laughs> we'll figure all that out later this might be totally overkill, but I think the screws are the, the highest resource one need. Yeah. 130 per, so that's three third. So yeah, this uh, level three isn't even enough. Okay. Oh man, we got this done pretty quick. Last thing we need is the cable. Le cables. Let's see what floor we need to bring that up from right here. It looks like, so we're gonna, we're gonna do a split and uh, bring it up, bring it up to this corner. Okay, so we're gonna cut this, which is a level three. Let's not forget that. Did that snap? You can't tell if it snapped. I assume that snapped. Nope, it's not connected. Might be too close. Let's see, let's try to redo this. Okay, yeah, this needs to come back a bit. Yeah, that's better. Wait, what? How was that fitting earlier? Wait, where did they, okay, there it is. I was like, where did the cable line go? All right, so we're set up there. Let's add the lift to the other side. Take that up as high as it can. Man, we made quick work of this. I'm not gonna lie. This is probably the fastest I've ever recorded adding a floor to this building. Who are we? We are we are so efficient nowadays. And we did it with such a better layout too. It's just it's all around amazing performance today. There you go. Okay, so how much cable are we using? 22.5, what a weird number. Why couldn't they, why couldn't they just make it even? Whatever, 22.5 per minute. That's 60, cannot compute 66, 67.5. Everyone in the comments is just like, you idiot. 67.5 per minute. So yeah, level two, a level two is warranted here. Okay, so now everything's hooked up and we're locked and loaded. We're ready to go. God, these manufacturers are huge. Look at, barely have any floor space on this side. So let's, let's hook it up to power and get this party started. I don't, why don't poles align with anything? I guess there's no like, no reason for them to. This is ugly, real ugly. It's offset, I don't like it. That's, that's gonna be even uglier though, if it cuts through the building. That's just not gonna, it's not gonna fly if it cuts through the building. It won't have it. Okay, there we go. There it is. There it is. We've got computers online. Computers being made automatically. And of course, <laughs> we're going to be bottlenecked by several things. Okay, let's let's see. Let's replace these lines with what we actually should have. Oh, that was a lot of words. So the screws need to be level threes. That's insane. There's, these things just use so many screws. Here we go. Level threes for everybody. And I guess everything else needs to be a level four on the screw line. I need to change this lift. Okay, so all of that's a level four. Wait, if this is a level four and this lift is a level four, then, okay, this might still be a level three down here. It's like, how are we still bottlenecked? Yeah, there, there we go. That didn't make sense. So that takes care of the screws, which we will undoubtedly run out of now since we're not producing that many. But if the heavy modular frames are bottlenecked by the cube, or not the cubes, the frames, then we'll actually be okay. Now the plastic, plastic times 45 times three is 135, correct? 135, which means we need level three lines for the plastic. And I think we've already run out of plastic, so that's wonderful. So moral of the story is we need more plastic. We need more power and more plastic. And right now we need more encased industrial beams. Yoink. Okay, so that's that's level four. We're gonna have to go replace all of that. Ooh. All right, we've, we've totally depleted our plastic. Look at that. No plastic coming from, okay, I see it. Very slowly making its way. We must have just got a shipment from the train. Okay, that, that's gonna be a huge bottleneck for us is the plastic 
screws, surprisingly, are holding on strong, probably because of all the overclocking we did there and the fact that we're limited by plastic. But uh, yeah, there you go. In the next episode, we're going to head over to the refinery area and upgrade our refinery process to get more plastic and add some fuel generators. But we accomplished what we set out to do today, which is to make computers automated. That's a huge milestone and I'm happy with it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new here, and check out the playlist in the description for all the episodes. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.